Welcome back students. This is Megasham Raju, Engineering College Bikaner, Assistant Professor in Mechanical Department. In the previous lecture, we have seen the surface metrology. What are the terms used in these surface metrology like roughness, lay, waviness, errors, form errors and surface texture. Now, coming to the measurement of the roughness. Analysis of surface traces we will be calling this. So for the measurement of the roughness already we have discussed 10 point height average value in the previous lecture. Now the second method is root mean square value. Obviously we know this the RMS value is defined as the root square root of the mean of squares of the ordinates of the surface measured from a mean line and one more thing here we need to remember is all these values should be spaced equally they should be distributed uniformly over the roughness of the surface structure and this ordinate is nothing but an y value so with reference to the figure, if H1, H2, H3, so on are equally spaced ordinate at point 1, 2 and n, then H RMS can be given as root of H1 square plus H2 square plus so on Hn square, where H represents the distance from the mean line. Either it can be a negative value or positive value. As the square nullifies the negative term divided by how many values we are taking the average we should divide it by that then we'll we'll get then roughness height from the mean value now the next method is the central line average value which is a famous method used everywhere which is also called as an RA value the RA value is the pre-balanced standard for measuring surface roughness. It is defined as the average height from the mean line. It is also an average height from the mean line irrespective of the signs. Either it is an peak or the valley. Means here A1 e represents the valley and A2 represents the peak. So from a mean line of all ordinates of the surface regardless of the sign. So from the figure we can say that RA is equal to A1 to AN divided by N. It should be mentioned here that RA value is an index for surface texture comparison not a dimension. One more thing you have to observe here is RA value is a comparative value it is not a dimension. So it's a dimensionless value. This value always much lesser than the peak to valley height because it is an exact value. The peak to value height will give an exact value but here it will give an comparative representative value. It is generally a popular choice as it is easily understood and applied for the purpose of measurement. So as I have told you. RA value is an index for surface texture comparison and not a dimension. So it is a compa comparative value and it is not a dimensional value. It is a non-dimensional value and its value varies for every manufacturing process. Like in the next slide, if the process is in flame cutting, it varies from 50 to 10. If it is a sign, it is it varies from 50 to 1 and drilling, it varies from 10 to 1. If it is a milling, 25 to 0 0.2. Raming, it is varies from 7.5 to 0 0.2. Laser machining, 7.5 to 0 0.03. Grinding it varies from 2.5 to 0 0.05. Lapping it varies from 1 to 0 0.01. Sand casting 50 to 10 
or 12.5 forging it varies from 25 to 2.5 so this is how the value of RA will be varying and coming to the next slide we'll be having an symbols for the surface texture so here if you see for every design and production engineer should be familiar with the standard adoption for specification of the characteristics of surface structure. Symbols are used to designate surface irregularities such as the layoff surface pattern and the roughness value. Here in the first figure it will show you the lay in which it lay is nothing but how the manufacturing process for a particular job has been done. So either it is an parallel to the line representing the surface or perpendicular to the line representing the surface or angular in both direction to line representing the surface or multi -direction, can be a multi-directional lay approximately circular circularly the manufacturing process can happen and radial relative to the center of the surface. So I'll just show you the next figure. You will get an idea how the manufacturing process for every job varies as I represented in this symbols. This is how if it is an parallel. So if this is my job, so the manufacturing process, whatever the material built has happened, it will be like this parallel to the line of projection plane of projection sorry plane of projection so this is my direction of the lay if it is a perpendicular so the process will be perpendicular to the plane of projection so the direction of the lay will be like this and if it is crossed in two oblique direction related to plane of projection so you can see the pattern here this is my job so this is the symbol and this is the direction of the lee and if it is a multi-directional you can't define it here in which direction it is but the process will be appearing will be like this so if it is a centered circular relative to the center of the surface so it will be like this and radial if it is a radial it will look like this and one more thing lay is a particulate not directional or protuberate means it, it is like a dots it will it will particulate it will finer process manufacturing here it is it is necessary to specify the surface pattern which is not clearly defined by these symbols this shall be achieved by the addition of the suitable note to the drawing like we can represent if you are not clear with this you can additionally represent a note over the blueprint or the drawings so here you can observe that maximum waviness can be represented here over this symbol so it is the symbol representing the surface texture of a particular job so as I represented here the lay symbol can be represented here and this represents the maximum waviness height in mm and maximum roughness height can be represented here or here and now maximum waviness width roughness width cutoff cutoff value of the roughness width and the maximum roughness width are represented here so this represents the surface texture symbols and this represents the symbolic representation of the various types of the lays of the surface texture in the next class I'll be discussing the methods of the surface texture measurement of finishing finishing surface texture measurement i'll be discussing in the next class thank you guys